Hey, I'm Paul Huizinga, and I recently had this weird intermittent beeping coming from someplace that I couldn't identify. Finally, I figured out that it was coming from my Fios box, my Verizon box, tracked it down into the closet, and uh, went and did a Google search to find out how to fix this problem. Well, I found a video that helped me out, but there were two problems with the video. Number one, it was eight minutes long, and ain't nobody got time for that. And number two, it was filmed in vertical format, so obviously the guy who filmed it was worse than Hitler. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to fix your Verizon Fios box from beeping, uh, and keep it short, and film it in a horizontal layout so that, you know, everything's cool. So, first of all, let's take a look at the box. This right here is your Fios box. And you can see that I've got my battery warning light on. Um, basically what the battery does is it backs up the fiber optic connection so that if you have um, uh, <clears throat> landline telephone service, if the power goes out, everything still works. Now, I don't have a landline. I've got a, I've got a cell phone, so that's not a problem for me. So basically, I just want to know how to reset this battery. Now, I'm going to show you two different techniques here. Uh, one is a temporary solution. One is a permanent one. Now, to get this thing open, you see on the side here, there's a little catch. And uh, you may need to use tools, but I was able to get this thing popped open with just my fingers. So there we go. That's popped open. You just heard the beep there. That was driving me nuts. Up at the very top, there's also another latch that I've also already popped. So when you open it up, hey, there's the battery right there. So now in order to reset this, there is a connector right here. It's a little black connector. And you don't even have to take the battery out to take this thing loose. You can just pull it like that. All right, so now we've done that. I'm gonna let it sit for a second. And then we're gonna plug this right back in. And in theory, once we get this plugged back in, if I can do this with my fat fingers, which is not a sure thing. If there ends up being an edit here, you'll know that it's because I'm trying to get this thing jammed back in there, right? There's that stupid beep. Sorry I had to put the camera down there because I couldn't do it with my left hand, but as you can see I got it plugged back in and the replaced battery light is now off. Uh, this solution supposedly works anywhere from 30 days to forever. Um, your mileage may vary. Now, if you want to fix this permanently and actually maintain the functionality of the battery backup, I'm going to put a link down in the description below. If you click on it, it's not going to cost you any more, but it'll spiff me a few bucks um, when you buy it through the Amazon affiliate program, so I'd really appreciate that if you find that this video has been helpful. Uh, I'm going to leave you with uh, the tiny kitten.